So if you look at the overall scheme of things of reaching up to the moon, I think we have perfected it already. We have done it one time in Chandrayaan 1, second time in Chandrayaan 2, also did it in Mars orbiter mission. There were issues in terms of the approaches that uh, that was taken, how to correct the engine thrust dispersion by uh, accumulating errors over a period of time, artificially limiting the ability of the vehicle to take turns and correction and the ability to calculate time to reach the required spot. So in nutshell, if you ask, tell what was the problem in Chandrayaan 2, the, it is simple to say that the ability to handle parameter variation or dispersion was very limited. So what we did this time is simply expand that further. So we instead of success-based design in Chandrayaan 2, we are doing a failure-based design in Chandrayaan 3. What all can fail and how to protect it. So this is the approach that we are taking wanted to know about the issues that we faced during Chandrayaan 2 and how we are mm -hmm. circumvented or solved those issues in Chandrayaan 3. Right. See, Chandrayaan 2 was hugely very good uh, until its last phase of its landing where we could not achieve the soft landing. It landed with a higher velocity. So that we call it as crash landing. So if you look at the overall scheme of things of reaching up to the moon, I think we have perfected it already. We have done it one time in Chandrayaan 1, second time in Chandrayaan 2, also did it in Mars orbiter mission, so there is no ambiguity. But the, and capturing the moon uh, orbit uh, as well as reducing it to 100 kilometer orbit was also perfect. And and we were, able, we were trying to target a landing in a particular spot at closer to the south pole, that is 70 degree to the south pole. And in that doing so, we faced certain challenges. The primary issues were, uh, one, that we had a, an engine, there were five engines which was used to for giving the reduction of the velocity, it's called the retardation. These engines developed a little higher thrust than that was expected. It was on the higher side, but it was still within the specifications. But when such a higher thrust was happening, we were, uh, the errors on account of this differential was accumulated over some period. It was called a camera coasting phase on the last phase of it. Mm. During this time, the craft is supposed to be very steady to take pictures. So we can correct it at that time. So because of that period where it was not corrected, we did started correcting only at the end of it. When all the errors got accumulated, which was slightly higher than what we expected, the craft had to take, make very fast turns. Mm -hmm. And when it started turning very fast, its ability to turn was limited by the software because we never expected such high rates to come. So this was the second issue. The third issue is it is yet to reach a uh, landing point which is still far away. Hmm. And we asked the craft to land only in high 500 meter by 500 meter area. And the craft is trying to reach there by increasing velocity to reach there, whereas it was not having enough time to, uh, it was almost close to the uh, floor, uh, ground. So there was a contradictory requirement of reaching to the exact spot and uh, and uh, at the same time achieving a low velocity. It became mathematically difficult for it to do it in the available time. So finally when it actually did it, it was fell short of almost half a kilometer and the velocity of touch was higher. So it is fundamentally there were issues in terms of the approaches that, uh, that was taken, how to correct the engine thrust dispersion by uh, accumulating errors over a period of time artificially limiting the ability of the vehicle to take turns and correction and the ability to calculate time to reach the required spot and also telling to land at the exact required spot instead of landing wherever it you can safely land. So we found that we need to study this in greater detail to understand that we must give more flexibility to the craft to handle dispersions essentially. So ability, to, so in nutshell if you ask, tell what was the problem in Chandrayaan 2, the, it is simple to say that the ability to handle parameter variation or dispersion was very limited. So what we did this time is simply expand that further. Look at what are things that can go wrong. So we instead of success-based design in Chandrayaan 2, we are doing a failure-based design in Chandrayaan 3. What all can fail and how to protect it. So this is the approach that we are taking. So for that we did many things. One, we expanded the area of landing half a kilometer by half a kilometer to 4 kilometer by 2.5 kilometer. 4 kilometer along the track and 2.5 kilometer width. Anywhere it can land. So it doesn't limit you to target a specific point. It will target a specific point only in nominal conditions. 4 by 2.5? 4 kilometer by 2.5 kilometer. Suppose the performance is poor, it, it can land anywhere within that area. Hmm. Second uh, method is that we gave more fuel so that it, it has more capability to travel or candle dispersions or move to an alternate landing site. So this is the second approach. Then we looked at very many failures, sensor failure, engine failure, uh, the, con the algorithm failure, 
calculation failure, even whatever may fail, nothing is there, still we wanted it to land at the required speed and rate. So there are different, different failure scenarios calculated and programmed inside. And there is one benefit from Chandrayaan 2 that Chandrayaan 2 had a very high resolution camera on board. It's called orbital high res resolution camera. This camera gave very good pictures, almost 28 centimeter high resolution image of the entire moon. With that, we were able to find out uh, the landing site much better way than last time. Last time, we were taking images from the lander and then analyzing in ground and telling how to do the landing. This time, we already know the details of the landing site, the boulders, the craters, everything is well mapped. And it's already programmed into the lander. So it knows where it exactly. Once you take an image, it will compare with the stored image and say, I am already there. So it can exactly know the coordinates where to land. Only thing it has to see final corrections, any that is called any boulders or crater which are bigger than 30 centimeter it will look for and then land safely. So that is the only thing required this time. And we added other failure modes. This other, there are plenty of failure modes in this. It is not just soft landing. After landing if it does not generate power, there is a danger. It will not work. So it has to face sun. So if it does not face sun, what will happen? We ask this question. So we created additional solar panels on other surfaces. <coughs> Then we uh, uh, asked if it lands with higher velocity, what will happen? Can it not land? Then we increase the uh, vertical velocity component from 2 meter per second to 3 meter per second and tested it totally. Then we wanted to find out what all electronics interference with the propulsion. So we tested uh, the craft with the full integrated thing in uh, different scenarios and found certain issues also there and corrected all of them. Like electronics and uh, the propulsion will have created vibration, sensitive things like that. So all these are settled. Then we did elaborate testing using helicopter flying over terrains. We had cranes which will test the landing processes. Then we did new test beds for simulation which is very, which was not there last time especially to look at failure scenarios. In, we put hardware, electronic sensors all together and simulate uh, the initial parameters which will be widely dispersing like thrust going upper bound, beyond upper bound. We call it 3 sigma to 6 sigma. sigma. Sigma means it is a standard deviation in a dispersion case. So generally we, th we say that in generally things go up to 3 sigma, but we disper dis dispersion will given up to 6 sigma, almost double of that in terms of standard deviation. Still see the landing happens perfectly. Then we created scenarios of some items not working, something not there, etc, etc. Still it should land somehow. So this is approach we have taken this time. Subscribe to Midday India. Get direct notifications on all our videos by clicking on the bell icon.